Hello, what's up guys, Fully here today with a, uh, another tutorial for Photoshop again, and uh, today I'm going to show you a really easy thing to do, which a lot of people are interested in doing, which would be making uh, a photo black and white, and then making part of it the same color as it was in the beginning, like having like color spotting is what it's called, but yeah. Alright, so what you're going to do is, make you first you want to make the photo black and white, but you don't know how to do that, do you? Maybe you do. Hopefully you do. Several ways you can do it is one is go to in, in, excuse me layer, do adjust adjustment layer, and then black and white, and then hit OK, and then it'll be black and white. Or the best way to do it is click this little button down here, which comes up with all the little things, and you go to uh, gradient map, and then if it's not like this, it's probably going to be one of these. But you're just going to want to click the first one that goes from black to white, and hit OK. And that's gonna give you probably the best, uh, the best, um, excuse me, the best uh, gr uh, black and white version of the picture. Like, it's gonna give you the best quality. Excuse me, I couldn't think of the word. I'm sorry. Okay, so a few things I want to go over with you guys is don't try to do crap like this, like color spot with uh, make the color like from too far away. Cause you see, it looks dumb if you mess up. Like right here, it doesn't matter because the thing. But like, if I were doing like somebody that had a background to it and you can see the background it looks really stupid when you do it from so far away so let me just back up here oh crap sorry here we go so zoom in I mean you can use the zoom tool it's about the easiest thing it makes it so much easier and you know use a salt you, you if you're just starting out use a soft brush use a brush like this so it's soft it's not completely uh round like that but you know don't do this i hate when people do this they just they get over it and then they'll do like part of it like that and it's just like i mean i could see sometimes but when you do that for every single photo you edit it looks really stupid and no one <laughs> i mean maybe your retarded friends will like it but it's not that good looking it's really it's really not so I'm going to do this real quick. I might not do the whole thing because I don't want to make this too long, but we'll see. Shouldn't be too hard. You know, see, it's a lot easier when you zoom in. Guys, just don't don't make it harder than it is. I mean, when you, um, there's really simple stuff you can do to learn how to do stuff a lot easier and more efficiently, and it'll just look better. So basically, you're just taking, you're just deleting the, ver the part of the layer that you want to be in color. That's not, that, uh, that's not on the top layer, excuse me, sorry, I'm stumbling over my words today, I really apologize. So you're just erasing it, it's really that easy. Let me just try to get a little bit more, show you when I back up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow, I just screwed up completely right there, I am sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to do this real quick. This is, uh, um, crap, what was I going to say? This is a day to remember. By the way, if you did not know, awesome, awesome band. Love the song. So, as you can see, part of this guy is in color because I'm a retard. But this guy's in black and white. I mean, God, I'm sorry. This guy is in color and the rest is in black and white. Which, really easy thing to do. All you do, the rest, just layer, flatten an image, and then you save. I recommend saving as a PNG if you're saving for MySpace or something like that or whatever but otherwise than that just save as jpeg and you're good to go so that's about it guys any questions leave it in the comments thanks that's about it see you.